Morning everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knacker's Yard. Bit of a midweek uh, update. Um, it is, I say midweek, it's Monday, uh, and it is fucking Scorchio. Um, we've had all sorts of extreme weather warnings, um, which I find fucking hilarious. Um, lazy boy, it's not moved for a weekend. Um, Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, I find it hilarious because um, uh, I've, I've travelled around a bit and I've, I've worked in a few um, weird and wonderful countries. Let's try this way. Um, and I've lived in different climates. Um, and the thing <laughs> <laughs> the thing that fascinates me is, I mean, we live in a temperate environment, so, you know, it, it's, there's a reason why England is a green and pleasant land, it's because it rains a fair bit. Uh, and uh, it's not until you go away from the country and then come back and you realise how beautiful our country is uh, and how green it is. It's, it is it, it's, <laughs> I'm sorry people that, that complain about it, but actually, pretty good it's a nice place to live um, there are shitholes in it but <laughs> it is a nice place to live and even if you're in a shithole it's not that far to get out of something nice but the bit that amazes me about the UK is how utterly fucking unprepared we are for anything that isn't the normal um, so if it <laughs> we get a lot of rain but if it rains too much the world collapses uh, it occasionally snows here and the world fucking stops um, when it gets sunny, we've got no idea what to do. <laughs> oh, horses. We'll just back off the throttle and leave it nice and quiet. Horsey girls. Um, yeah, I'll leave it uh, back off the throttle, leave it nice and quiet. What was on about? Oh, yes, sunshine. <laughs> now, we. Uh, my wife and I have three children uh, spread over two schools, two in senior school, one in junior school. Um, we, we, we've both been pretty much fucking inundated since Friday with emails um, from the schools updating us on what they're doing for the extreme weather that's been predicted on um, Monday and Tuesday. Um, so that means my youngest in primary school, uh, my daughter who is uh, uh, who have just dropped off at school. Um, she's allowed to wear non-uniform, loose-fitting shirts and t-shirts. Now, she normally goes to school in like a summer dress. <laughs> so actually, by putting her in a t-shirt and shorts, she's probably wearing more material than she would in a uniform. Um, and plus she was all concerned because, you know, oh, do I have to pay a pound, etc., which is, you know, the normal going rate, I suppose, for a non-uniform day. Um, so dropped her off in that. Uh, my older two in their secondary school <laughs> are um, uh, have been basically told no change uh, the teachers may let you off wearing your blazers uh, in lessons but it's but you're to wear your blazers between lessons and ties so um, uh, I walk halfway to school uh, most days not every day but I, I drop my uh, youngest at primary school um, walk most of the way with the other two as well, drop them off, you know, they turn left, we turn right type thing. Um, I told them to put their blazers in their bags this morning and sit their tie in their bag as well, so they walk to school in their shirts. Um, now, their school, uh, my, uh, my better half is a, uh, is a secondary teacher, not at their school, at a different one. Uh, her school is closing early, about half twelve one-ish I think you know when it's fucking scorchy at the hottest part of the day uh, and they're condensing all the lessons to give them time thank you bus we normally let people across there I'm assuming you were for me um, yeah so her school is finishing at the hottest part of the day so they can all walk home in the hottest part of the day 
uh, email this morning. Yeah, the boys' school's doing the same. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Now, my kids find it fascinating because we were we were fortunate fortunate enough to live in Cyprus for a few years, and um, where weirdly enough, it gets fucking hot during the summer. Um, gets fucking cold in the winter. No one tells you that. Uh, and none of the houses have um, have central heating as, as as you know as as norm. Very few have uh, aircon, frankly. Um, certainly ours didn't. Um, but um, but yeah, my kids find it hilarious because everyone panicking about oh wear a hat, wear a hat, wear sunscreen. And my kids are like yeah whatever, okay, hat, sunscreen done. Next, um, uh, everyone must bring a water bottle. My kids have always got water bottles, always. Uh, they've been beaten into them from an early age that. If you drink when you're thirsty, it is too late. Uh, you need to drink before you're thirsty. Um, we didn't quite have the uh, have the pea colour scale on the uh, bathroom wall, but it wasn't far off. And if you're unaware of that, it's you know if if your if your pee is light, you'll find you're hydrated. Uh, if your pee starts to darken off, it's because you're dehydrated, which is why you have that really deep coloured smelly piss after you've been out on the Ming for the night. Uh, it's not lager going through your body, it's because your body's dehydrated. Uh, the alcohol has dehydrated your body. You know, it's a sad thing. How can I wake up thirsty when I drank so much last night? Um, uh, put simply, pee white, you're alright. Pee yellow, you're in trouble fella. Pee brown, you're going down. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, it is fucking Scorchio. The thing that amazes me, and I saw it a lot over the weekend, because we were a little bit out and about, not too much, because it was warm. Um, but certainly when I was out picking up the new phaser, um, um, the number of bikers I saw wearing t-shirts and shorts, um, I was fucking amazed. Now this is one of, you know, th there's two arguments here. Uh, one, it's, it's their choice, it's their risk, it's a free country. The only legally mandated safety equipment on a motorbike is a helmet. Um, so it's their choice. So I'm not deriding that at all, I'm not suggesting that there should be uh, another t-shirter. Uh, I'm not suggesting that it should be law to wear protective clothing on a motorbike at all. Uh, ditto with gloves, I always wear gloves, uh, I know that some people don't wear gloves because they don't like the fact they lose some of the some of the tactile nature with their um uh with the, with the bike um third one not got a problem with that at all um it is personal choice but by fuck is it a stupid personal choice to be um riding around um on a motorbike in t-shirts and shorts um uh now, I, ca I can't claim to be perfect in this because, um, you know, I do go around the block in uh, uh, in trainers and jeans when I'm testing out a bike or chainsawing or whatever, um, uh, and occasionally trainers, although I try to wear boots, but, um, and that is, you know, my choice and it is a bit daft. Um, I very rarely do it without gloves. I, I've just got used to wearing gloves now. I, I, it feels feels strange on a bike without them to me. Um, and if I want to test ride a bike, which I, you know, I, I kind of need to look, feel, and, and you know, everything else needs to be normal. So I've got a comparator. But um, but yeah, it's um, I'm just I'm just I'm slightly flabbergasted. Now I, uh, I I'm being a bit of a uh, and red light shows. There is no red light. There is no light. Um, I am being uh, a little bit dishonest here. I don't have my underbody armour on. Uh, I wear it every other time, but my my thoughts for today is I will take that risk, and it's my risk to take. There's no legal requirement for that. I just wear it as a matter of course. Um, uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, anyway, enough about that bullshit. Um, the phaser, the currently unnamed phaser. Getting some good suggestions, please keep them coming. Um, I think I'll I think I'll do a naming ceremony on the weekend, uh, but keep the suggestions coming. Um, uh, the only ones I've ruled out so far, I've had a Frankie, a Frankenstein, I've already done a Frankenstein bike, I did an SV650, entirely valid choice for a bike, but I don't want to repeat that. Um, variations on Rat Boy, yeah, I, 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 I want to do something, I don't want to leave myself down that track. Unfortunately, with the two lights at the front, it does look like a Minion, but I'm not going to call it Minion. <laughs> um, 
Oh, I might not bring it. Because that leads me down to yellow, and I don't want to do another yellow bike, ultimately, and I don't really, really want to be thinking about colours yet. So keep them coming. Uh, I have had a first dig at the, um, at the carb, and I'll drop that in here. Uh, I have, uh, I'm currently uploading today's upload, but what I wanted to do is, I'm desperate to just see what these are like. I have uh, taken the screws out. They weren't actually too bad, I have to say. I was expecting them to be worse. Um, it is later. I have opened a beer because it is freaking warm and I think I deserve it. Right. So I have undone these. You're getting first look with me. So that is, uh, these are upside down. So that's one. Not too bad. See a fair amount of uh, relief on the seal. It's not too bad at all. So, two. Again, not actually too bad. Don't look like they've been neglected for two years. Uh, so, yeah, these are upside down. One, two, three. Now, this is the one that's potentially not working. Uh, and it is starting to get grottier. It's still quite bright on Sunday. There's enough there to stop it, I think. Four, ditto. It's just, it's just silt. It's just muck from being there too long. Um, right, just going to have a bit of a, uh, uh, a bit of a live strip down. So what have we got? Let's turn the specs off. I can't read what those are. 115s. 115, 115, 115, 115. So it's just to 115. Now I would of course have to check as to what they should be. Going some to block these at 115. That's a big jet. Although that said, the one that's struggling, I'm not sure. This is it's always a bitch to try and show on camera. But let's see how we can go. Uh, no, not a chance. So I can see. I'll tell you what I can see rather than show it. I can see a big gap in one. Quite a smaller gap in two, although I've just seen a bit of shit fall out of it, which has opened it up. So I think that's probably the problem. God. Someone's been quite enthusiastic putting these in. Green van playing music because they've run out. I still tell the kids that. <laughs> right, pretty grotty. And looking at the rubber, quite tarnished underneath. I'm going to have to get a better screwdriver on this one. A bit shitty. see a size on that at all. Hmm. Interesting. Ouch. Um, one of you guys mentioned about saying, why don't you get a workbench now? Um, I could have a workbench, but I wouldn't have three bikes. But I could if I emptied all the shit out the back of the garage, but it's a domestic garage. It's, you know, 
for it to use garages for storage, not for cars normally. Um, very few people park a car in their garage. Alright. So pilots. 12.5 what it looks like to me still can't see any markings on those ones They're looking pretty good. Um, certainly been stored dry. Mm, Christ. Right, that pilot jet is completely blocked. Same size, 12.5, but that's totally blocked. That makes me feel better. is that totally blocked good I say good because it would explain running issues if jets aren't doing what they need to do so that was on two so completely blocked pilot on two three has issues too still open on the pilot jet I don't know what these jets are. Help. Oh, well, I'll look it up. I'm sure I bought a Haynes manual for a phaser. I'll bug it if I can find it. But no. Well, the air fuel screws, despite from the fact that that one I pointed out in a previous upload, or in the previous upload, was, at, was so far out, they are all at drastically different heights, which is confusing. I can't see a reason why you would feel the need to do that. Um, feel free to uh, correct me if I'm wrong. What I do want to do is just check to see how different they are. Take all the gubbins out yet. That would explain why they're at different heights. They are different needles. That's really interesting. I don't quite know why they would do that. Beyond necessity, I suppose, is what they had. Explain why this one looked like it was backed out so much longer because the actual thing is a different length. At the same end, same needle. Alright, the rubbers around the uh, cease for the main jets looking a bit ropey. I may have to jump online. I'm considering just getting a repair kit, frankly. Um, as I routinely do anyway, I find myself getting forced that way, so, you know, go ugly early. I think I'm not going to take them out because I'm going to lose things. But what I do want to have a look at is that broken um, uh, uh, diaphragm lid on one. So again, there's a chunk out of it. Um, that's a better functioning diaphragm 
and I can feel it pumping air up to my forearm there. So I'm going to whip that off because I'm going to see if I can repair it before I replace it. Never with, with these things, it's the smallest things take the biggest time. And eventually, having to drill that fucker out <laughs> um, was a struggle, shall we say. Um, yeah. Not good, but needs must. Um. Ah, don't forget that there's a sheath on that. No. So that's why it's leaking. I don't think that's repairable within any real sense of the world. World? Word. I could just drop sealant on it for now what I'm probably going to do but that needs a replacing um, which one is it on no it's on the other way because all the lobes point backwards right I might have a go at bodging a repair on that um, I've got my hot gun for plastic welding that's got you know like plastic off with it just fill in the top but I will also be looking for a replacement on Tincture Web. Right that'll do me for now, I've got some cleaning to do, got some cleaning up to do but that'll do me for a session. Right so that'll do me for an upload, I'm really not good at um, uh, filming things over the period of um, a couple of days and mixing and stuff because I don't really have like an end piece so I'll, I'll chuck one in here, it's quite late but um, I'll do it now. So. Phaser's looking good. I need to find a top for that carb because uh, I, I don't really trust trying to repair it. Um, you look forward for the next one. I have an option for the back end. I have a very interesting option for the back end, I think. Um, for one, it saves me a shitload of money, which is always good. But for two, the end result that I think it will bring will be something kind of special. But that's something for the next one. But you know, until then... Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for thanks for joining the game more than anything else. Um yeah. It's it's kind of reinvigorated me a little bit this one, and I'm happy with it. Right, cheers all, I'll catch you later. Ta-da.